Hey, what's going on, everyone? Mike from The Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. Thank you very much for watching, if you haven't done so already. Um, and you like this video, like my channel, you know, I would appreciate to subscribe to it. Hit that like button, and if you want to get uh, post notifications, hit that hit that uh, that little belly, and you'll get notifications when we post a new video. I enjoy creating these videos. Uh, again, they're educational purposes only. If you're not an uh, a licensed uh, or trained professional, please don't try us at home. All right, I've had the Testo 300 for a couple days now. And right now I am doing a combustion analysis on a Ream 95%, uh, I think it's 89,000 BTU. Where is it? No sticker, of course, it's probably down below. But I'm doing a combustion test on this Ream 95% high efficiency gas fired furnace. And um, again, now that I've had the Testo 300 for a few days now, used it on most, on all of our heating service calls. Um, honestly, honestly, I, I really like the Testo 320 over the 300. I think the 300 is complicating things a lot. Um, the operating system is Android based. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have like the shutdown feature that from, in my opinion, like the 320 does, you know, when you go to turn it off, it r does a rinse then. Uh, when you turn this thing on, uh, it wants to, you know, calibrate to zero it out when you turn it on uh, after using it, which just kind of makes no sense. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If the people are testing still or watching this i uh, would love your feedback comments even criticism maybe i'm doing something wrong but this is their brand new product it's been out for i would say about a month and a half two months so right now i got my test probe in the outlet side of the draft of the um invert uh, draft inverter <laughs> the inducer assembly here are my numbers I got 9.802 on oxygen, 15 particles per million of, of carbon monoxide. I have efficiency of 95.4%, which is dead on. A CO2 is at 6.27%. My stack temperature, T-stack, is at 93.2. And there you have it. Um, it's a little complicated. Um, I prefer, the, like I said, the Testo 320. So does my apprentice, Kelvin. Isn't that right, Kelvin? Yeah. Yeah, we like the Testo 320 more than the 300. Uh, you know, there are, on the Testo 320, there are one, two, three. I think there are six buttons. You know, one is dedicated to print. One is to clipboard. You have your on and off button, obviously, and your up and down arrows. And I think there's a button or two that I'm missing, but it's simple. You know, it has a nice color touch screen. So... Unfortunately, if I was to buy this again, I would not. I would buy another Testo 320, but uh, it's a great machine. But again, it's a little too complicated in my opinion. But that's my review of the Testo 320. Uh, it's worth the 1700 plus change for the residential model with the printer. Uh, you're better off getting the Testo 320. It's several, hundred, several hundreds of dollars cheaper. And um, again, that's just my opinion. Everyone, ha everyone has their own opinion and uh, to each his own. But that's my professional opinion with the Testo 300. Uh, I give it, unfortunately, a thumbs down. Sorry, Testo. I think you make great products. I have several of your digital refrigeration manifolds. Even the higher end ones, I have your smart probes. I got all your products, I love them. But the Testo 300, just not for me. Thanks for watching, guys.